What's the deal, everybody? Welcome back to the studio. I'm Jeremy Deal, and today I'm gonna to be going over my most essential items that are not directly related to the camera you shoot with and the products you deliver, if that makes sense. They're right off screen, and I've got a plethora of them. Okay, not really a plethora. It's more like five or maybe six. I don't know, but these are my essential items that I bring with me to every shoot just in case. Gives me a nice peace of mind and helps me run my day smooth. Without further ado, let's jump right into them. All right, now let me start off by saying this isn't gonna be in any kind of particular order or anything like that. These are just kind of in the way they're laying in front of me. So it isn't like my most important to least important. These are all just suggestions anyway. So these are the things that I carry around. And if you're looking for links to all of this stuff, I'll put it down below in the descriptions just to make it easier for you to find. Affiliate links, all that jazz. Help me help you, you know how these works. Number one, here we go, twist tie. I've talked about this thing in a lot of my videos, especially when I'm talking about my strobes on site. Now it isn't just any twist tie. These are one of the rubberized twist ties that has a hard metal wire in there. Now I use this all the time. Where I use it the most is I can fold it up and use it as a door stop and hide it directly under the door for those doors that are being pesky that keep kind of swinging closed, but you wanna keep open. So I use it for that all the time. And I also use it to wrap around my strobes when I'm putting them up on banisters or second floors or rails or anything like that, just to give them a little bit of extra grip to stay in place. Ugh. One time I had one fall from like a second floor and it chipped people's floor. Man, ever since then, I've never put a flash on a banister without one of these on it, no matter how secure or rushed I feel. This is definitely a peace of mind for gear on site. What's the next thing? Here we go. This I keep attached on me. What is this? I think some of you know what this is, but this is treats. Yummy, yummy Treetos for dogs. You wanna know why? Because Homeowners trust people if their dogs trust them. And if you walk up to the front door with a pocket full of these snackos, typically dogs trust you more. Not only that, you can convince them to do what you want. So if you need to get them out of the frame, if you need to bring them outside or bring them to the garage or bring them upstairs or to another room to shut it off, snackos are the way to do it. They'd work for me and they dang sure work for my client's pets. So. I keep a couple dog treats and a couple cat treats with me. Just this bag is awesome. I don't know if I have a link to it. I'll put one down below, but it has a little clip. So it clips onto the bag I'm wearing anyway. Look at that. There's dog hair floating in front of me. That's how often I use this thing, right? All right, next one. What is it? Let me move these dog snacks out of the way. Here we go. Ever since the age of you know what, everyone's got sanitizer. This is what I personally use, the Touchland sanitizer. It's a nice small bottle. They have a ton of different scents. My personal favorite one right now is this one, and I guess it doesn't have the scent on it, but it is the Citrus Grove scent. Oh, I let me just, while we're sitting here, I'm just gonna use a little bit because I use it all the time. We touch gross stuff all day long. We move around people's trash cans and stuff like that. It's good to have a nice sanitizer with you that not only smells good, but it does the job. And once again, just, I'm not gonna throw this one. I'm just gonna set this one over here. That's smarter, I think. Next one. This is something that I know you don't think about, but it's happened to you at least once if you've been doing this for a while. That was not slick at all. Mr. Clean, here we go. These magic erasers. These things are actually a life saver for me. I can't tell you how many times, either with my tripod or with one of my flashes, or here is my bag right over here, and I've got more things I'll be showing you in just a minute if I can get it detached. But this thing that's on the back of my bag that holds some stuff, it's leather, so this brown will rub off on walls every once in a while. So having this to be able to clean up the molding or the freshly painted wall that you just accidentally messed up saves you a whole lot of strife inside your brain. It takes two minutes and it works every time for me. This thing has saved me so many times. This is why I have a brand new pack. I'm oh, sorry, I was showing you, the, I was looking at the Mr. Clean side, I guess. Leave no room dirty again. Leave the job site just like you arrove. Arrove? I don't know if that's right. 
Leave the job site just like you arrived there. Use these Mr. Clean wipes whenever you mark up someone else's wall and they will thank you for it, the agent will thank you for it, and your mental clarity will be a lot more. Small box, it doesn't matter, throw in that one too. Now, one more thing, what's this one? This is actually, let's see if we can get this, here we go. This is a chandelier crystal. You can buy these online for dirt cheap. And this has a very specific purpose. I'm not a big flary kind of transition guy when it comes to my videos. I like my videos to be smooth and simple and every once in a while, hit them with a little bit of flair. And that's what I use this for. This is my little bit of flair for one transition per property. I don't even use it that often. I use it every once in a while, but this makes a really clean transition, especially if you have a really nice primary suite. You're moving from the primary bedroom into the primary bathroom, like a close up of their really nice uh, faucets or something like that, leaving out the transition into the room, swiping this directly in front of the camera. It gives you this really pretty effect that you can't do with a filter afterwards. There's no DaVinci Resolve thing or Premiere Pro thing that's gonna duplicate it or make it look right. There are some that can try and duplicate it, but this is easier because it's in camera. You don't have to worry about it. It mashes up nicely. So when I'm leaving or when I'm going into the master or the primary suite, whenever I want to end that clip, I will simply wipe this in front of the lens. And whenever I'm going into the primary bathroom, that first clip I'm gonna use, I will start it by swiping this in front of the lens. Super clean transition. These things are dirt cheap. You can break them, you can throw them away, scratch them up, it doesn't matter. I've been through a whole bunch of them. They come in like packs of five. I really like these. Bet you never thought of that one. Next thing I'm gonna think of is right here. Now I keep these two things together, so I'm gonna keep them attached as two. Here we go. And it's on this little belt attachment. And what they are, number one, flashlight. Everybody needs a good flashlight. I don't know if you can see this one. I'll put it down there. Lickety blam, flashlight, everybody wants one on site, just in case, maybe you lose. You wanna know where I use it the most honestly, or at least where I've used it the most recently, is I had one of my strobes fall off the top of a fridge, hit the countertop, bust open, batteries fly out, and then you've gotta locate the batteries under like the oven or the fridge or something like that. Having this to look under there, find that. Really nice, really handy, something small, easy, makes it easy peasy. The next thing I'm talking about is a Leatherman tool. This in particular, look at this, it's got so much dust on it right now. There we go. In particular, Leatherman tool. Now I used to carry just a knife, but a Leatherman tool is much more useful because it has things that can repair your equipment on the fly. It also has tools that agents might need on the fly to fix something. Maybe there's a faulty handle trying to get into a door or something that wiggles. Who knows what it is? I've had to give this out to agents to use the knife or the Phillips head screwdriver or the flathead screwdriver. It has a ruler built into it. There's a hundred reasons why you might need a multi-tool on site. There's a hundred reasons you might need a knife on site. There's a thousand reasons you might need a multi-tool on site. I highly recommend if you're a person that brings a knife with you on site, just upgrade, get that multi-tool, get a nice little belt slip. Look, it's literally right here on my bag. It stays attached to me all the time. So I never have to worry about it. These two things, this is a hip bag. So this stays on my hip. This stays basically on my back at all times. So anytime I need them, I can just reach around and grab them and hand them off whenever I may need. I'll give you one extra one since I got my bag right here. You see them flopping around right on top. Actual shoe covers, not those chintzy little paper things that agents leave or the plastic ones that are at front doors. I mean real shoe covers with like grippies on the bottom. You can tell, look, I've been wearing these for a long time. They've got holes in the bottom. Here we go, look at that, hole in the bottom. So I highly, highly recommend these as someone for years, I walked around and just took my shoes off at every house I went to. And that worked really well for me, though all the time I would have issues sliding around where earlier this year I injured one of my heels and I had to wear a brace at all times. So I had to keep shoes on. So that means I had to wear shoe covers. And I used those cheap paper ones for a while until I was recommended a set of these. And 
these change my life inside of a house. Not only do I have the structural support of a shoe, I've got the grips of these things, so I'm never slipping around like I would before in my socks. I take them on, or I take them on. I put them on, there we go. Put them on when I enter the house. I take them off when I leave the house. They fit in my bag nice and tight. They come in like a pack of five for dirt cheap. I've been using these all year and I will never go back to just wearing socks in a house again. You know the spiel, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Honestly, you don't really have to like and subscribe. You don't have to do any of that. You can just enjoy the video. Hopefully this was useful. If any of these things you didn't think of before or maybe didn't think were that important, comment down below. Is there anything you bring in particular to a shoot that you want others to know about? Like, hey, this was really helpful to me. I'm always open for suggestions. You know, affiliate links I already mentioned down below. Check out some of my art. You don't have to buy it, you can buy it. It would be cool if you did. Either way, thanks for being here. As always, keep rocking and rolling, enjoy what you're doing, make smart business decisions, and let me know if, if this was useful information. I mean, I wish someone would have told me to bring some of this stuff when I first started. Catch you next time. Ooh.